So this is the story of both my darkest and scariest moment of my entire life. I'm incredibly grateful to still be alive and I'm here to tell you guys this story. So let's go. Hey, what's up guys? It's Tuber here and welcome to a little story time. So this is the darkest chapter, the time that I almost took my own life. And just a disclaimer, this story is really dark and obviously it does involve me trying to take my own life. So if that's too dark for you, then I, then I don't blame you if you just want to click off the video right now. But for everyone else who wants to hear the story, welcome. So to set the scene, it was early 2017, and this was less than a year after my first glimpse at success on YouTube, after almost a decade of being a failure. I was grinding videos, but the views kept declining, and it affected me so much that I just, I felt like a worthless failure and death was the only way out. But I kept living and I kept doing my own thing. But in the back of my mind, I had a lot of dark thoughts. On top of that too, I was also incredibly isolated and not to mention broke. I had a lot of rage that I wasn't able to deal with and it just kept building. I had no outlet to let the anger out. So I just kept getting so angry that I just destroyed monitors and self-harmed by biting myself as hard as I could to where it left a mark and I might have nerve damage from that honestly and it, it, like I haven't done it since obviously but one fateful day the anger got to a point that I just didn't want to live anymore so out of anger in a fit of adrenaline rage I was ready to just end it all so I grabbed a knife and without thinking I just dug it into my thigh and it pierced the skin and went in about an inch and immediately I regretted it. I had so much adrenaline in my body that I just didn't really feel any pain at all. The only thing I felt was the cold steel in my flesh and it was not good. When I looked into the wound, I could see an artery, but luckily it wasn't severed because if it was, I would have bled out 100%. Luckily I only cut through a vein. But yeah, it started bleeding a lot and I thought for sure that I was gonna bleed out that night. So I immediately ran to the bathroom and cleaned it out with soap and water and then poured some rubbing alcohol on it. And it, oh my God, it burned so much. It was awful. Then I grabbed some gauze, put it around the wound and then wrapped my pants around the leg to apply pressure and hopefully stop the bleeding. Then after that, I went to sleep and luckily I woke up in the morning because that night I was just thinking like, I'm not going to wake up tomorrow. This is the end. But luckily I did wake up. And that was the moment that I realized that I needed to get my mental health under control. Like I had a second chance to live. At the time I had a completely different outlook on life where I realized that I do have friends. I do have family who care about me and I'm not alone. Like I have people who can help me through this, but the bleeding didn't stop until about 48 hours after the incident. And I was always paranoid that it was gonna get infected. So I kept cleaning it out multiple times a day and eventually it healed. But to this day, I still have a little scar. And I'm not making this video to garner any sympathy. It was my own fault and I'm not blaming anyone else. However, there are lots of people who just lie about me for clout, just claiming that I fake stuff like that for attention. But when you have a self-inflicted wound, it's surreally real. I, I feel like I probably share way too much, but like this was the time of my life that really helped turn my mindset around to be more positive. Now, obviously I still, do, I still struggle with a lot of, you know, negative thoughts and depression and all, all these different things, but it's so much better than it used to be because I have this to kind of remember and help me realize that, yeah, life is precious and you only have one. But to this day, I still remember it vividly because it was the scariest moment of my life. But moral of the story, life is precious and you can't take it for granted because if you do, you'll regret it, 100%. Like if you're thinking about doing something stupid, please seek out professional help like as soon as possible. There's a lot of therapists and psychiatrists and there's a lot of people out there that can help you. Negative emotions can be incredibly difficult to deal with, especially on your own, because they come in waves and they can be overwhelming. A lot of them have no basis in reality. It's just your brain freaking out for whatever reason, because it's different for everyone. I'm incredibly grateful to still be alive to tell this story. And if I could go back in time and stop myself from doing it, I would. But unfortunately that isn't possible so you know i just have to just remember it and then use it as fodder to realize that life is amazing we're so incredibly lucky to be alive since then i started hanging out with friends more and i grinded harder than i ever have on youtube and i was able to grow the channel and get things back to a spot where having a future was possible and out of fear i started saving up skins and money just so i could have a safety net just in case the channel died so you know so I can still support myself. And to this day, I make almost nothing from YouTube and Twitch. Like the only money that I really make is selling skins. But yeah, right now I am in a worse spot on YouTube than I was back then. But this time I have skins, money, and also friends to fall back on. And my goal is to build up the channel again 
and get it back to a point where I can keep doing what I love doing. Because I don't know what I would do without YouTube, like genuinely. If it wasn't for YouTube, and most importantly, you guys, I don't know where I would be right now. I, I don't know if I'd still be alive. So from the bottom of my heart, I just want to say thank you guys for all the support. Because you guys push me to keep going. You guys push me to keep living. And you guys are just, you guys are the reason why I'm still here. So thank you. I mean, sometimes I still have bad days where I think that it's the end and I have no future and there's no, there's no point. But then I realized that you only have one life and you can't waste it. This was a really difficult story to relive, but every time I do think about it, it does help me realize how much I truly enjoy life. But I hope sharing this can help you realize that no matter how tough things seem, if you have a positive mindset and you keep pushing forward, you can eventually make your dreams come true and you can accomplish anything you want. I mean, you learn basically nothing from success and you learn everything from failure. Failure is a huge part of life. Every time you feel like a failure, just realize that Failure is just a stepping stone to get to success. And as long as you have the right mindset and as long as you just keep on trucking no matter what, eventually you'll you'll achieve your goals. If you're lonely, just reach out to people, reach out to friends. Now, obviously, if you just don't talk to random people on the internet, there's a really good chance that they are going to try to like push you to do something stupid because people online are just there's a lot of assholes online, especially on Twitter. In the CSGO community, there's a lot of amazing people that I've met, and there's a lot of people who are genuinely nice people. But then there's a lot of people who are just the worst fucking people on the planet. They're just so shitty. They're so mean. They're so, like, toxic and negative all the time. And they do it on purpose because they want to get under your skin. They're, they're just trolls. There's even a lot of influencers like that. There's a lot of YouTubers and people on Twitter with large followings who just treat people like fucking garbage. And all their simp fans just stand up for them and like, hey, you know what? Like, at least I can open up and at least I'm honest about stuff like that. There's so many fake YouTubers who have succeeded. But then there's also a lot of YouTubers who are just genuinely awesome people. Like, just don't listen to the toxic people because their opinions literally don't matter at all. I'm sending some positive vibes your way. And I hope you guys have a great and safe rest of your day. Like, I know life can be overwhelming at times, but like if you keep pushing forward and you have a positive attitude, you can get anywhere you want to go. It just takes time. Patience is key. So thank you guys so much for watching. It's Turbo, and I'm out. Peace.